This video is for the analysis of cuckoo hashing. So in the previous video, we showed an empirical analysis, but for this video, we will focus on the theoretical analysis of the insertion because lookup and deletion is much simpler, constant time lang. So our goal here is to show that the expected time of insertion is constant time lang din with the assumption that the load factor is less than one half. So analysis of this data structure is more difficult compared to our basic data structures shown in the previous lectures because we have these two challenges. The first one is we need to consider hash collision across multiple hash functions. And the second challenge is that we need to consider the chains of displacements, not just how many elements land somewhere. So to address these two challenges, we need the concept of the cuckoo graph. So the cuckoo graph is a corresponding graph obtained from a given hash table. And for this graph, each slot in the table is a node in the graph. So yan yung mga circles na yan. And an element in the hash table is an edge connecting the two possible slots or kung saan pwedeng ilagay si element X. So, we have a dot to denote uh, kung saan nilagay si item. Okay? Kasi we have two options, we just need one. And note then that uh, since isa lang naman yung location ng isang item, we only have one node touching it. So, the degree of the nodes is also not necessarily the same. Okay? Depends dun sa distribution of the items. And uh, note that this is a multigraph. So if it's a multigraph, it is possible to have multiple edges that connect um, the same pair of vertices. So it is possible if we have two, key, uh, two keys, X and Y, na same ng evaluation ng H of 1 and H of K. But uh, we have a condition saying that H of 1 of X is not equal to H of 2 of X. So, hindi mag, pwede mag-exist yung mga tinatawag na self-loops. So, walang mga self-loops dito sa cuckoo graph. So, whenever we insert an element into our hash table, nagkakaroon tayo ng new edge to the corresponding cuckoo graph. And, an, uh, suppose mag a tayo ng new um, symbol in our hash table that coincides with the location, for example, of this um, symbol, what we will do is to evict yung symbol na to, and then the symbol can go to the location na pwede pa niyang puntahan, for example, since this is empty, no? So, yung manner of displacement corresponds to flipping the edges. For example, may bago na akong nilagay sa location na to, then what will happen is that that new symbol will reside to this location at yung symbol na yun, for example, will have this as the ano no, alternative location using hash uh, function number 2. Um, it will have a, a dot here in, that, in this location. Uh, in this symbol, and then this symbol will go to this location, and then mare reverse yung dot from from this location to this location to signify that uh, ito na yung location ng item ko. Now that we introduce the concept of the cuckoo graph, all claims related to proving whether a particular insertion displaces or an insertion is successful or not will relate to the properties of the graph. So, we have our first claim. And the first claim uses the graph property to know whether an insertion is successful or not. It succeeds if the connected component containing X contains either no cycles or only one cycle. So, whenever we insert an element in our table, we identify if yung particular edge na idadagdag natin sa cuckoo graph will be a part of one connected component na may certain property. And yung property na yun ay um, dapat walang cycle or only one cycle.
For example, this graph is composed of two non-trivial connected components. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Kasi yung the rest ay mga singletons um, that are floating. <laughs> so if I add an edge that connects two singletons, for example, uh, that new edge trivially contains no cycle kasi that's just a simple um, connected component consisting of two nodes. Um, however, if I add it here, so for example, I add one um, edge uh, to this, like yung example natin kanina, insertion will be successful kahit na nag-evict tayo ng isang symbol dito. Kasi basically, we have this one at walang cycle. Um, for this um, connected component, if nag-add tayo ng one edge connecting uh, the two, for example, itong Naruto symbol and the triangle, um, this will create uh, an unsuccessful insertion because currently, yung connected component where we added that new edge, ay may existing one cycle na. So, itong part na to. And adding that one edge will create two cycles for this graph. So, another way of looking at this is we keep on adding a new node to a connected component na three yung structure. And then whenever we add a new node, yun yung uh, bagong leaf nung tree. The second claim is the opposite of the first claim. Here, we deal with failing insertions. So, insertion of X fails if the connected component contains more than one cycle. But to explain the proof idea for claim Two, we need to discuss the intuition about the three possible cases when we insert an element X. Let's start with the first case. The first case is when we have no cycles in the connected component. So after adding a new edge, no cycle pa din, so the structure is actually a tree if no cycle. Uh, since it's a tree, it is composed of K uh, elements with K minus 1 edges. So that's a property of a tree. In our cuckoo hash table, uh, this is equivalent to having k slots because we have k nodes with k minus 1 edges na equivalent sa k minus 1 elements. So, lahat ng elements enough for the available slots. We have k minus 1 elements and we have k slots. That's for the first case. For the second case, if we allow one cycle, we build uh, from the previous structure in a tree. If we add additional edge dun sa tree natin, instead of having k minus 1 edges, we will now have k edges with the same total number of slots, which is k. So, we have k nodes and k edges. So, we have exactly the same number of slots and the same number of elements. So, okay lang, kakasya naman. So, that's why we allow one cycle dun sa claim number 1. However, if we allow more than one cycle, like two cycles, that will involve an additional edge from our previous case. And since our previous case includes k edges, magkakaroon na tayo ngayon ng k plus 1 edges. However, ang concern is we only have k slots. So magkakaroon tayo ng infinite evictions because we have k plus 1 items for k slots. So sobra yung kailangan natin i-store. So let's have a definition here. A connected component of a graph is called complex if it contains two or more cycles. So, um, opposite nyan is if we have a tree, it's not a complex connected component. Or if it's um, a graph with only one cycle, it's not a complex connected component. However, if it com contains two or more cycles, it's called complex connected component. So using those claims and definitions from the previous slides, we're now ready to, to discuss the theorem that says that insertion into a hoku hash table succeeds, so hindi siya fail if and only if the resulting cuckoo graph has no complex connected component. Other than that, it will fail or it will yield to an infinite eviction. However, this theorem is still incomplete. Kailangan natin i-relate yung load factor and the running time of the insert operation. And to aid with that, we have a theorem, a random graph theory that states that if we have some E, 
capital E should reach the total number of edges um, equal to alpha times V, then the probability that any connected component is complex is bounded above by 1 over V. And as a direct corollary for this theorem, um, using a cuckoo hashing with M slots and with N equal to alpha times M, just like yung definition natin ng load factor before, the probability that a series of n insertion fails is 1 over n. Here, using this probability, we can compute for the expected number of times a rehash is required before it succeeds. And the expected number as computed is um, in constant time. So, yun yung justification why insertion runs in constant time in expectation. And yung proof for this theorem um, sometimes involves enumeration ng mga different ano, uh, connected components na complex. Which is, uh, sabi sa, sa paper it's messy, but um, open problem pa daw if there is an alternative proof na mas simple than that. Okay, so the overall analysis for cuckoo hashing is for look up and delete, it's simple, it's constant time, but for insertion, it's expected to have a constant um, running time in expectation again. So, uh, me caveat yung insertion. This assumes that periodically, uh, dinodobol mo yung size ng table. 